Everything was telling me that my worth was coming from my performance. I won the Sullivan Award. I was breaking world records. I got to go to the ESPYs, right? Like everything was so incredible. But I told everyone that I wanted to win seven gold medals. And I get to Beijing. I'm 16 years old. You know, I've been swimming for six years at that point. Um, and I had done really well, right? I, I had won a few gold medals. And then it came from my 100 brushstroke. And I just remember brushstroke feeling off. And I jump in and I just didn't have the performance that I thought I would have. And um, my teammate ended up winning um, the gold medal and breaking the world record. But back then it was like, people just looked at it as a failure. And I finally found the courage, you know, I'm 16, right? I finally found the courage to go up to my parents in the stands. And, you know, I just remember thinking like, they've seen me win gold up until this point. Why would they ever want to see this medal? And I had never really cried. I think that's one thing to know about, like through my whole life, right? I thought strength was not showing weakness. Right now I realize that strength is true vulnerability. But at that point, you know, I just, I was getting really emotional. And my parents hadn't seen me cry through all of my surgeries, through all of the ups and downs, right? So my mom pulled me into a stairwell and I sat down and I was just starting to tear up. And I was just like, you know, do you guys still love me? Do you love me even like with this bronze medal? But I think that was a huge moment, right? I think that was a really big moment for us as a family, just to be like, Jess, we love you for you. Like, we don't care about any of this. We're just proud of you.